Coach Paula here. Today we are going to be going over my five R's of texting. I really think you're going to like it. So be sure to subscribe and share and comment, of course. Also hit that notification bell because this is a two part series. Yes, first is the five R's and the second is about utilizing emojis in text. Really fun. So I want to tell you how important the five R's of texting are because texting, as you know, is so important in relationships. It's really the way we communicate with our man, whether in dating initially or really in a relationship when we're not together. So I'm going to go over them right now. Be sure to write them down. <laughs> so the five R's, what are they? The first is, of course, you receive a text. And when I say, of course, I hope that you know this, that receiving goes along with not reaching out. This is huge. You really need to keep yourself from reaching out to your man. Why? Because he really gets a lot from achieving your time, attention, and affection, even in text. So you want to be the receiver of texts. And I go over this in my program about how you actually do that. And the way you respond in text gets you more. So that's for a little bit later, but right now we're going to go on to step two. What is step two? Of course it is retreating. So I want you to receive your text. Number one, of course, don't reach out. Then I want you to put your phone down, retreat. Remove yourself from the phone. Even if it's just to put it down, walk around the couch and come back. But whatever amount of time you are retreating will help you. It's gonna help you in so many ways. First of all, it's going to help you to do the next step, which is to relax and really be intentional about your response. The second and a kind of um, secondary gain you get from this is that the man, while he is waiting, he will be doing something so important for you and your relationship, which is he's going to be wondering if you know anything about my materials, my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One, you know that the number one principle in my book is about how men and women love so differently. Women love through knowing. We want to know and that is how we love. Men love through wondering. So it is vital to get him to be wondering. And how does wondering happen? One of the very simple ways is for him to just be waiting for your response. So we are now, we've gone through receiving the text. That's number one. Second, retreating. Third, you're going to relax before you start typing in, right? And writing and you're going to rewrite, regroup. Again, look at it. Really think about, am I being vague? <laughs> this is so important in the writing. Vague is your friend. And I often say this, if you've listened to me on the podcast, I mean, certainly my clients know this, that I talk about the word vague how you remember to be vague. Vague begins with a V, and so does a very vital part of your anatomy. So maybe that will help you to remember to be vague when you are writing and responding, okay? So I want you to rewrite, regroup, rewrite again, check for it to be vague. 
I talk about this a lot more. And if you're interested in this, certainly, certainly comment below and I will do my best to answer that. What is being vague in text? How do we do that? What are the strategies to help you do that? There are quite a few, and I do talk about this in my program. I'm happy to talk about it more, and I will certainly answer you, but comment in the text. How do you feel about that when I say it's so important to be vague? Okay, and now, of course, you've gone through one, two, three, four. You've regrouped you've rewritten it, you've checked for the vagueness, you feel relaxed, and now you're going to simply respond. Those are the five R's that will get you to be A, more intentional about your texting, and B, help you to feel more confident. And that's vital for us as well. You deserve to feel confident and you deserve to not be nail biting when you're thinking about texting back, but you also must be very, very aware that texting can make or break your relationship. And so that's why I'm here to help you with these five R's. Again, I'm happy to talk more about it and certainly answer any of your comments below. I love to see them and I hope to see more of them. Stay tuned and look for the next in this series. It's a little two part series because the next video is going to be about utilizing emojis in text and I look forward to that. So don't forget, this is all about making him wonder. Until next time.